So it seems you can link a habit to the new timer functionality within TickTick. In this video, I'll show you how and discuss a few other things as I dig a little deeper into the new timer functionality. So one of the great things about having this YouTube channel is not only do I get to share my experiences and what I know about TickTick with you guys, but I also get to learn um, from you guys, especially when you put things in the comments that point things out to me. One of the things I mentioned in the last video was that I didn't like that I could have a reading habit, for example, uh, where I set it up to read for 10 minutes, but if I wanted to use the timer functionality, I have to go over to the focus tab and set up a separate timer uh, for reading and that there was really no way to link them together. But it was pointed out to me in the comments from Ivan Ceballos. He says, you can link a focus timer to a habit or single tasks or repeating tasks. Just click the plus button, then click the link next to the blank name. He goes on to say that completing a focus timer doesn't necessarily check off the habit. So I missed that. Um, and so I was very happy that he put that comment in. And let's go take a look at what exactly he's talking about. So I'm opening the Tick Tick app now, and I'm gonna go over to the focus tab, and I'm gonna click the plus button. So I'm on the screen to add a new timer. And what I had missed the first time looking at this was you see the little chain link uh, to the right side of the name. So here I'm typing in a name and I'm just gonna use morning pages. And now to the right, there's an X you know, if I want to cancel out what I've written. Now looking at it, maybe that's why I missed it because I came in here and I started writing the name of my timer and I didn't think to look over to that side before I started writing the name. And it's odd that they would kind of cover up that link. And so what it's looking like to me is if I write the name first, that I would always miss that icon. Let me just hit the X to erase the name that I've given this timer. And the chain link appears again. So you have to click that chain link before. And I guess that kind of makes sense because it's going to populate the name. Uh, let me go ahead and click it. All right, so when I click on that icon, it brings up a window that allows me to link the timer that I'm setting up with something else. So I can choose either a task and the tasks are up at the top and you can see that I'm looking at the today view here and I could choose a different list if I wanted to or I could pick a task. So I picked take out the trash, but I want this timer to be related to my morning pages, which is a habit. So down below in the second section are my habits. And so I'm just gonna select morning pages here. And you can see it populates my timer name with the same as my habit. And it also uses the same icon. And from here I can choose Pomo or stopwatch. And I'm just gonna hit the check mark. And so now I have a timer that's linked to my habit. But the one thing that I found is that that linkage kind of stops at that point. You know, they're, they're still really separate. So let me click into my read focus timer, which is linked to my read habit. I can see here that I've focused for three days. I have, you know, a total of four hours and 25 minutes of total focus. You can see the little chart down here. And this timer is linked to my read habit. So if I want to go over to my habit, I can click the little arrow over to the right side of the name of the timer. And this takes me to my habit. All right, now I'm gonna click the uh, up arrow down at the bottom. And you can see that even though I've had a timer and I've read quite a bit over the last three days, you can see I have no check-ins for my read habit at all. So the linkage isn't that great in my opinion. Um, I can link them together, but the timer is still separate from the habit check-ins. And so I can time over there on the focus tab but I still got to go over to the habit tracker to do my habit check-ins. So that's not a great integration in my opinion, but it is more integration than I thought that they originally had set up. So that's good. You know, the other thing I wanted to point out was I did hear back from TickTick -Tick, um, via Twitter that this functionality is currently only available for the mobile app and that they are working on making it available for the uh, web app and that should be available soon. Well, that's all for this video. And if you see something that I missed on this video or on any of my other videos, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. You know, I'm a TickTick -tick user just like you and I'm learning as I go as well. And like I've mentioned before, you know, TickTick -tick doesn't make things so obvious. So again, if you, if you see something I missed, please feel free to leave a comment. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.